Well, how's the uh, how was the Christmas and everything back home? It was great. You know, I got to see all my family and friends and stuff. I just saw some people in the hospital that were big Alabama fans. Try to lift their spirit for Christmas. They gonna be at the game? A lot of people. Uh, we got a lot of family and friends that are gonna be at the game. It's gonna be great for them to come out and see, be able to support us. Any idea how many? You being kept a number on tickets or? Uh, eight. Eight, 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 fan, eight friends and family? Yeah. Hey Sean, what has been, um, it's been like playing in this defense with so much depth we talk about offensive players having to sort of give up, you know, plays and touches. For a defensive player to be to give up some playing time, give up some plays and things like that, how much sacrifice or at least selflessness does that show among the defense? Yeah, it's not, you know, like, uh, you know, it's not really us giving up plays. You know, we're all great players and we know we have something to contribute to the team, and we worked hard all year to make sure that we all contribute to the team. We push ourselves, Charlie. Try to do everything we can for the team. Hey, Sean, what's been different about this group? A lot of guys have said that it's hard to find a specific answer or a specific reason that this group really is different, both in the way you play and the way you connect with each other. What's been different? I'd say more so, you know, our mindsets. And, you know, going out there, trying to execute everything, just try to dominate out to the best of our ability and some, you know, just going out there and playing for each other, not for ourselves. How would you compare that last thing you said maybe to previous bets without throwing anyone under the bus, but the selflessness versus the selfishness maybe of previous groups? Um, I mean, we really didn't have much selfishness. It was just, you know, too many people thinking about other stuff. So, I mean, it just didn't work out for us in the past, but. Uh, like we kept them, uh, our mindset so that we want to work, we want to do everything we can to win. And so it's worked for us so far to keep it that way. How do you avoid thinking about the other? You're in the same position a lot of those guys last year were. So how do you personally avoid that stuff and block it out? We lost two years, right? Okay. okay. That's, that's how. I mean, you lose what you think of. You want to win, right? So our mindset, we want to win. We lost two, two years in a row, bowl games, you know? People written us out and stuff, so we just here to show people what we what we do. What's Kirby been like since he uh, took the job at uh, Georgia? Um, he's been great. You know, he's always been a co great coach since I've been here. You know, he's helped me to become a better player. All the coaches have and him. Person, I love Coach Smart. And I'm happy for him. <laughs> but what's he like? I mean, how does he handle that situation? Because it is somewhat a little awkward. I mean, it's not really awkward. I mean, we're here to play football, <laughs> get a job done. So I, mean, I don't think it's awkward. I think it sounds it's great. You know, he comes in and still does everything <laughs> that Coach asks him to do, and you know, he, we do everything for him that he asks us to do, so we can go out there and execute the game plan. Hey, Sean, how can you tell? that blow after blow is slowing them back down, having an effect? Um, it's not just one of us, it's like all of us, you know? You don't like getting hit by, I mean, you can take getting hit by one person, but you can't take getting hit by 11 people. So it's like, you get hit by 11 people, that's, you're taking a ding from somewhere in there, probably the end of the first quarter. So we try to just try to pepper everybody as much as we can. Is there something you notice in body language or demeanor or that suggests to you that it's working? Really, we just, we don't really, I don't really be thinking about anything. I just want to go out there and try to hit as hard as I can. Whoever has the ball, try to start not back the offensive line as hard as I can. Like for, my, for me personally, it's just doing everything for my teammates. And I'm sure it's the same thing for them. I just want to do everything for them and that we achieve our goal at the end. So. I play more so for them guys than just to think about anything else. What's been the key to the pass rush getting, getting so much better this year? It seems like maybe a little more speed up there, but what, what, what do you see as to why there's so many more sacks? Um, well, it's, it's the same people from last year. It's the same team right. from last year. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, we just really, you know, keyed in, focused on our, weak, our weakness that we had last year, you know. We didn't get as many sacks as we had last year, so 
been working on just to develop our entire game, to be able to do everything, you know, pass rush the quarterback, stop the run, affect everybody in play. So that's what our goals are. What have you seen on film from this quarterback? Uh, uh, he's a great quarterback. He's very accurate, you know, puts things on the money. And he's very precise. He doesn't just throw things up. But, uh, He's very good. What about his running ability? Uh, he's, he's a great athlete. You know, we just gotta contain everybody. It's not just so of him. It's more so of everybody on the cool. team. Have you see that that twenty-two play drive to end the Big Ten championship game. Is that something that, that stands out in your mind? Something that you know you, you don't want to let happen to you? Um, really, it's just more so of how we play and how we sustain the entire game will determine everything. So. I really didn't think much of a big play drive. I was just thinking that we just gotta keep our keep, keep sustaining for all six minutes of the court. We play a team that's, that's won so many games like in the very end. You know, a couple of games they didn't even lead until there was zero on the clock. Does that make you think more about the fourth quarter and, and sustaining that six minutes? We always been about the no fourth quarter. Safe. We always been about the fourth quarter. So our program is on the fourth quarter. So, you know, we take everything out of the tank in the fourth quarter. So, I mean, we play, it plays just like we play all four quarters. So, it is what it is. It's football. Things go down to the fourth quarter sometimes. Coming back to the recruit, your recruiting process, how did, you know, come across Alabama? How did they reach out to you? I mean, um, and what ultimately factored in the decision to go there? Um, really, uh, the players and the coaches felt like home there. And, you know, they just had a great vibe coming from it. And I knew it was the place once I went, took my official visit. Do you have any?